Hello friends! Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we'll be making this super cute toiletry bag. It comes with a surprise. As you see, it's double-sided and it's got this nice handle in here that you can use to hang it whenever you go. You can open it on this side with the zipper. It's made with a crystal vinyl which makes it easier to find the things that you put inside of it. And then when you turn it on the other side, there is another transparent compartment that you can close with the zipper. You can use it for so many things. You can use it when you're traveling to put your makeup or your bathroom stuff or you could even use it just for your for, for baby keeping the creams and the wipes you can give it the use that you want that fits for you i will show you the instructions all you'll find what you want to use it for don't be afraid to use vinyl i'm going to show you a way to use it to work better with it remember that we need a special needle that is going to be number four thing and the secret for it working with vinyl is to put some sewing machine oil onto the fabric or onto the needle and that would make it run smooth as butter this is the only thing you just put a little bit on the on a piece of cotton and you pass it through the needle and that is the secret that I'm showing you today now let's go on to the things that we'll need. We are going to be using some canvas or the cloth. Uh, I suggest you to use some like um, some waterproof fabrics right it fits liquids in it and you'll need two pieces of canvas or the cloth of 65 by 29 centimeters two pieces of 65 by 29 centimeters don't be afraid to work with these waterproof fabrics in your sewing machine because i'm pretty sure that it's going to work with it it's just a matter of picking the right needle that is usually number for a thing but ask on your local store for more guidance we'll be also using some crystal vinyl a plastic piece of fabric it's not a fabric actually it's vinyl and we'll need two pieces that are going to be measuring 26 by 30 centimeters so two pieces of 26 by 30 centimeters i will tell you mine it's an eight millimeter no 0.8 caliper uh, but you find the one that matches the um, the thickness of your of the canvas that you're using for the back of the back we'll be also using two zippers of 25 centimeters just regular zippers it doesn't need to be an invisible one just regular zippers and we'll be also using about four centimeters four meters of a uh, bias tape in a color that matches your fabric and we'll be also using a piece of uh, polyester tape or even if you don't want to buy it you could also make it with the fabric that you that you are using you just need 40 centimeters uh, and that's it we can now start to working in our tutorial if you're ready if you want to continue using your free time on creative projects subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you're always updated with my latest videos well now it's time for you to make a screenshot or of the measurements so let's start with the two pieces that i mentioned before that are going to be 75 by 29 this is better if it's work on a waterproof fabric it could be a canvas or it can be a dock that cloth the important thing is that it's measuring 65 by 29 centimeters two times and then we'll need the crystal vinyl like transparent vinyl that this one is going to be 29 by 30 centimeters or 29 by 26 like in this case it doesn't matter uh, it will change in the height but mm -hmm. 
you're good to go. And we'll also be using um, two zippers that are going to be 25 centimeters, just regular zippers. And then our um, bias tape. And let's go into the sewing machine. And if you have some clips, it's going to be also important because it's going to be the how we will be holding our pieces together. It's also possible to do it with pins, but uh, I rather use in the clips. But let's just know that is also a way to do it. Now let's go into the sewing machine. Okay, the first thing that we'll do is to get our bias tape and we'll fold it in half just by the half that you can easily find. I'm going to mark it very well with my using my nails and once I have it folded I'm going to place it close to my zipper in here. We're going to work in here with this uh, presser foot that is special for zippers. Almost all the sewing machines come with it. If you don't, just go into this local store and get one because it's a way to ensure that you have enough space for sewing. Everyone should have this when, when willing to make sewing products at home. So now we'll place these two things together. We're going to my, make the edge of this bias tape and the edge of the zipper match and we'll just go sewing in here in the middle right in the middle i'm going to sew all the way through it and matching the edges of both things as you see also the colors are similar here is the place where you where you can play it with the design by matching properly the colors in here. And now I keep on sewing all the way to the end of the zipper. And I'm usually, for this kind of projects, using a longer uh, stitch size. And I just try, you know, I usually like to try it in a piece of fabric so that I know which is the effect that I'm going to give to my project. Now let's go on to cutting this in here. I just need it to be the length of the um, of the zipper and now I'll grab the vinyl and on the side that it's measuring 29 centimeters I'm going to sew it. I'm going to hug the vinyl with the bias tape and then I'll just sew backwards and go ahead and do a regular liner stitch. I think it's easier if I do it on the other side. So maybe you won't see it that much but this is the best way for me to do it so I'll go ahead and do it this way. Remember to always sew backwards in the beginning. Oh, oh, I lost my thread in here. Let's just get it back in the place. I'm going to cut a little bit of the thread because that makes it go easier. Let's see if I can make it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll cut one little bit again. And I'll just go ahead and thread this needle. Usually it's easier also to put some white piece of paper in the back because that way you can see better. That's like the most infallible tip. And now I haven't used the oil on it yet because I'm not touching in completely the vinyl. I sew backwards in here and I just go ahead and so all the way through it in a plain stitch um, yeah when i'm sewing on the bias tape it's usually okay it's usually like it runs easy so 
for while be doing in this piece i'll do the same in the other one with the other zipper and the other piece of vinyl that i have and this one is ready and now i'm going on to the other side and in this case let's see how this one looks and for the other one i'm going to do the a different thing i'm going to open it the other one i didn't open the the bias tape in this one i'm going to open it and i'm going to follow that stitch that it comes with and yeah i lost the thread again but let's find it once again okay I think this thread is a little bit annoying, that's why it is. I'm cutting it. Okay. And now, there I go. Sometimes when the thread is coming to an end, when that bowing is coming to an end, this thing starts happening. I know that so many other uh, fellow sewists have had the same, have experienced the same. So yeah, you just need to keep your patient up to the end. And now I'm doing these stitches just right in the opening, in the folding that my bias tapes got in there. And I just go ahead and do these stitches in here, following that. And if I see that it's getting too close to the head of the zipper, I just open it in order to don't break my needle. Okay, I arrive to the end, I sew backwards, and I see in here that it looks like this. In the other piece of vinyl, I'm doing the same. Okay, so I did this in both vinyls as you see one is hugging the crystal and the other side of the zipper is more open and now i'm going to put my vinyl my crystal vinyl matching the um the canvas uh, if you have some clips like this some Twitter like this you can use using those if you don't have them if you just have pins at home you can also do it that way but I'm going to do it in the way that I feel more, more comfortable and it works better for me but I'm showing you the other options that you might have and I'm just making these two squares match all the way together and the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to do two important stitches now, as you see, I put the press the, the regular presser foot and I'm going to do something in here. I'm going to sew backwards in here and I will show you. I'm opening the zipper as I go and I'm sewing all the way in here. Okay, I'm closing it once again. I'm, you just need a little bit of patience, patience and mindfulness when sewing a zipper to check that you don't catch the head with the needle. And I just go all the way there, arrive to the end and sew backwards. I'm going to repeat it. I'm going to do it also. This one was in one edge of the uh, bias tape and I'm going to do the other one on the other edge. So it's a parallel one. And I'm just going all the way there I'm going to roll this thing in here so I don't have a problem. And so I have sewn this with two lines of stitches, two lines of stitches in here. And now I'm not doing anything with the other one. I'm just going to place it in the same way, matching the corners and i am going to check that i have about six centimeters in between both of these uh, bias and uh, these tapes if it's not five or six centimeters just um make it be six centimeters and cut a little bit on the side that you need to cut the important thing is that your vinyls 
that the transparent vinyl is in the same size. So maybe you can cut from the bigger um, canvas. And now in here, I'm going to just go ahead and sew, uh, following the edge of the tail with a linear stitch just in one side is starting and uh, but i actually like i oops i ended the bobbin i need to make some bobbin in here so that i can continue properly uh, yeah this is something that is a little bit funny when it happens but it's okay okay so i'll just go ahead and repeat this one because before the bobbin wasn't there so it was not so so i'm going to arrive to the end and i will do also the other one because i think that it looks more beautiful more neat it's got a crisper finishes that i actually really really appreciate I go all the way there when I arrive to the head I put the presser foot up move the head of the zipper and then just continue put the presser back foot back down and just stop okay we are almost ready and now in order to be more um, to be sure that we sew without ruining the project and the sewing machine I'm just going to grab an oil that I wet on sewing machine oil and I pass it over the fabric and now as you see it goes super easily when I sew in here in this edge and I'm sewing together the vinyl and my, um, my fabric the canvas and I'm going to do it all around the all, all the borders and then I'll show you what's the next step in here okay actually I can start from here let's see if I can show you okay so as you see the six centimeters in between both bias tapes six or seven that's the maximum and in here i'm going to fold and i'm going to mark the middle by cutting a little bit of a corner in here or i can also do it by matching it and then i grab my polyester tape and i fold it to be sure that it's uh, in half and i'm going to secure it in there by sewing and I'm going to put a bias tape all around the borders. As you see, I already put it in here. I'm going to show you how I put it on the other side. What I did is that I put one layer of the crystal vinyl and then one layer of the canvas tape facing up and another layer of the canvas uh, fabric facing down. And then I can put all these three layers together by applying um, the bias tape on the border as you see I open it I sew this in there and when I see that it's finishing I just cut it I sew backwards in here and as you see I'm applying the bias tape in only two steps I sew on one side and then I just do some stitches on the other side and it's done. It's actually really easy to make it, as you can see. I'm arriving on to the end. I actually know there is some people that can do it in one single step. In my case, I do it in two steps. And as you see, this is a step that you will repeat on all the four sides of this rectangle. And once you've placed all the bias tapes on the four sides, we are going to work on what's going to be the structure of our back. So I'm going to open it in here. You can remember this technique because it's the one that I'm using and I'm showing you in many videos. 
so I'm going to make kind of a square a triangle in here and I'm going to make these stitches match as you see it's become like the middle of this triangle and then I'm going to turn it around and I put them both facing towards the same side making this opening that you this is also a step that you can avoid if you don't feel like adding another stitch onto your uh, back but I actually uh, can tell you that this is something that will give a structure to the back and make it be more functional and uh, yeah give it more roof, room for your products inside of here and I'm going to measure in here four centimeters five centimeters on each side and I'm going to draw a line in here that I'm going to use as a guidance for um, for my stitches. And I'm going to do just one line in here, so in backwards in the beginning. And yeah, I'm doing this in all the four corners. It's going to be a little bit hard in the part when I have two layers of canvas but don't worry just be mindful of it go a little bit slower and take your time and then you are at it i'm going to do this in the four corners and i just cut the borders in here i just leave like five millimeters in there i don't need any more and i will show you what i'll do next in here and that is going to be i'm going to apply some um uh, oil in here just a little bit of it with the cotton that i had in the beginning and now i'm going to put some bias tape in here just to give it a more uh, a perfect finish in here and so i'm going to fold in here because i needed to have a little bit of a hem and I'm just going to sew in here a line. I'm going to put this uh, via tape just as I did for the other one. And just sew on one side and then I will turn it around. And sew on the other side. Again, this could be done in only one step. But this is the way that I know and that I feel comfortable with. And that works for me. So this is how I make it this time and now i'm going to fold it in here and as you see this is the only kind of tricky part of making this bag but it's actually one that you could avoid but it's actually also one that will give structure to your to your back it's going to make you make your um, the objects fit better inside of it I really like to have these kind of bags that are transparent when I'm traveling because I can know what is inside and where within the bag it is. And I also ha like to have this hanger because maybe you are in a bathroom and you don't want your stuff to be lying around. You just hang it and you are good to go. And yeah, I'm done with this. I'm going to go ahead and do it this in the other in the four corners and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, I'll show you another way to do this corner and this is marking 5 centimeters from here and also 5 centimeters from here. As you see, I'm doing it with my back uh, closed, like not folding it and I'm going to draw a square in here, a 5 centimeters square and I'm going to just cut it from here leaving about five millimeters from there i know i'm quite in following the line that i just draw uh yeah you just see these two options of making this structure for the fabric for the back and choose the one that works for you and uh, yeah and now what i'm going to do is that i'm going to open this i'm going to open the the, the vinyl and the canvas i will throw the gum the can both layers of canvas towards one side and the transparent vinyl to the other side i apply some oil once again and i'm going to go ahead and sew you could also decide to apply the bias tape immediately i'm going to try to do it let's see if i can make it 
remember to fold the first border, the, the very edge of the bias tape so that you have a cute hem in there. And then I make this uh, the middle match in here. And I'll just go ahead and sew all this. As you see, this is kind of an easier way because I don't have to, I, I already could. So I am like kind of saving one step of stitches. But you just go ahead and do it in the way that you find works better for you. And I'm just going towards the end. And I'll finish applying the bias tape by turning this to the other side. And I'm going to fold it in here again. And I'm going to sew backwards in the beginning. And then also, as you see, I could with a little bit of room because I'm going to fold also the end of this uh, bias tape in here. It's a little bit too thick, in, especially on this side, but I just need to be a little bit, go a little bit slower. And that's it. I'm finishing the bobbing, I'm checking that. Let's see. I have it here. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking out these pieces of thread in here okay I'm sure that this is something that happens to you all the time uh, yeah I'm like to be honest with you and show you when these kind of tricky things happen so that you know that everyone in any level of sewing uh, have these things and it's just a regular thing to happen this is a really, really nice bag. I think it's a really cool project. Like I really enjoy making it and I'm pretty sure that you will enjoy making it too. It's really cool. If you are traveling, if someone that you know that is traveling, this is a cool gift and something that you're going to be using lots of times for a long time. So I'm putting the thread in here because I already finished this. Let's cut it very well. I'm cleaning this in here. Okay. It's a really, really nice gift. So I need to keep it clean. I want you to see how it looks, how this structure corners look like when they are done. I know that in later I'll show you with more detail. But in here you can have a closer look. I'm going to place some things inside of it and I will show you how it looks. Okay, as you can see, this is a little bit bigger than the other one that I just made. It's just a matter of keeping the proportions that you saw. And as you see, there are lots of things that fits inside here. I think it's a really cool thing. And you just fold it and put it inside your luggage. And you have this uh, handle that can use to carry it or to hang it. This is a little bit bigger because the uh, zipper is 30 centimeters. And this means that my squares, instead of being 29, they were 34 centimeters. So I repeat it again. So my zipper was 30 centimeters and this means that my squares were 34 centimeters wide. So it means that they are four centimeters bigger than the zipper in order to leave a room for the bias tape. And yeah, that's it. Okay. If it was 25, it then the, the square was 20, uh, 29. And as you see, it's a little bit smaller. And as you see, when you change the pattern on the canvas or on the duck cloth, it's what gives some design and some appeal to your back. As you see, you can also decide to not uh, put a handle onto it and you can fold it in a different way. But I actually find that the handle is so useful. I think it it's really like the sherry on top because it allows you to carry, to hang it and everything, especially when you're in a bathroom in a hotel. 
it is something that you'll be happy to to have <laughs> to be able to to hang it okay and now i want to show you that i can put like also so many things for example for a baby and i can keep a change of clothes and some um, baby wipes and yeah i'm good to go i'm ready to travel the world with this <laughs> What do you think? What would you use this toiletry bag for? And what size are you going to make it for? I'm so curious to know. Remember, the important thing with this is to use waterproof materials because usually toiletry things are wet, so we don't want everything in our luggage to be wet. Something else that you can do is to make a square on this handle so that it can have a little bit more of a, of a reinforcement in there and that it stays. Let me know which way you decided to do it and what you're going to use it for. I'm so curious. Also, please send me a picture of how you make it, what are you using it for, where in the world are you going with it. Please, I'm so curious to see you using these projects. I will, I'm going to finish this one with these stitches, I'm going to go back and do it fast, I forgot <laughs> because I was so uh, excited to show you the result. But yeah, this is basically how it looks like. These are my waterproof travel cases, travel bags. I'm super happy that you stay with me till the end and I'm so curious to see what you'll do with it. I'm always sending you the best vibe and every week I'm uploading a video for you to continue on your sewing journey. And remember also that I'm in Facebook, Instagram and I want you to see you there sharing everything with the hashtag with Lusquita. So with Lusquita. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!